Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one of the Dad Files. Hopefully you're all having a great day so far, and let's get to it. Alright, so in the bottom left hand corner of the map, playing as the blue Protoss, we have Joe Pineapple. And in the top right hand corner of the map, playing as the red Zerg, we have... I wasn't sure how to pronounce this at first, but I'm going to pronounce it Makikao. 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 Um... I, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but it's going to be Makikeo from for, for the moment. So, um, Dad is looking like he's going to go for a, um, Cannon Rush containment, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe he'll just block the, um, expansion. Because we haven't seen a probe come out to put the forge down yet, so... Either it's just like a expansion or it's really really late um does spot that dad has a probe down there as well so might feel like something fishy is going on and will no won't take a oh yeah we'll take a drone down there to go on attack um just so that you know that doesn't get in the way of anything and you can expand and um there we go a forge and a gateway has been put down as well as a pylon so um i reckon we're gonna see dad maybe go away and then, if he doesn't have an overlord, um, he, Dad might actually, you know, come and build some cannons just here, and then be able to, you know, attack the hatchery. Um, but isn't putting down any cannons at the moment? Um, putting down any cannons at the moment. Sorry, I spoke really weird then. Um, so I think one of the reasons for this is, um, it's quite hard to cannon rush a zerg. Because of, um, the, uh, the creep. So, I'm just looking at the desktop audio. It's not, it's not super loud. So, I'm probably, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it or not. Sorry, guys. Um, and, yeah, it's just harder to get cannons close enough to, um, actually, you know, deal decent damage to the base. Um, Dad does start to put down a, you know, kind of, kind of little cannon rush. And, um, Makakao, Makakao has gone right around it. As you can see there, if we look on his vision on the minimap, the cannon rush is right there. But he's not spotted that yet. Oh. And, oh. Has he spotted it? It's on the minimap, but he's not... It's like right under that taskbar, and he does spot it. Okay, okay, he does spot it, and um, might be in a little bit of panic right now. Only two zerglings are out, and um, no more as of yet. Um, we are getting a roach warren though, so with ravages we might be able to take this out. All right. Um, another photon cannon does go down, and a shield battery, and back at home, Dad, his economy is going pretty good. Hasn't gotten a second base yet though is getting rid of that pylon probably just so you can get in and out of places does depower that cyber call though so he probably needs to put another pylon up um and yeah it does have a photon cannon protect <laughs> wait wait what like yeah you like you might want to get that stalker back in but like he just uh... okay the pylon probably just said like recycle me on it and he's like yeah okay it's not gonna damage the environment let's let's just get rid of that and oh okay wait i actually needed that let's let's put it back um you know we'll just buy a new one that was very very weird um but you know fair enough makes sense i guess kind of <laughs> um dad has also put down a gateway in this little proxy and has got a second pylon which is good because um in the last ad file we'll see a lot of artosis pylons and um another shield battery will go up just to give it that little bit of extra protection and dad might actually be able to start creeping this forwards a little bit this is interesting as well we've got two evo chambers um right outside the um like kind of main sort of you know entrance to the natural I've got four Ravagers, though, so he might be able to come in using that Corrosive Bile and um, potentially shut this down. Um, and it's looking like Makakeo might might give it a go. He's going to go and target the cannons, though. 
which may or may not have been the right choice, does lose one Ravager very, very quickly. Um, Dad also has a second base now. Um, and he's about to get some gas on it. But hasn't got a lot of protection. But um, then again, I think Dad is actually doing a decent job of not really letting any units out of here. So that's... This, these two bases are kind of contained, but he has got a third base outside that sort of small blockade. So, should be able to actually escape this pretty, pretty easily. Um, Makikao is also looking like he's at a bit of a loss as, for what to do. He has got six Ravagers, so I reckon he should just push forward and go and target these, um, these pylons and try and get rid of this as soon as he can. But he's going for the cannons, which... Oh, okay, he does take down one cannon. But these Ravagers have not, like, they're not very tanky units. They do, they are getting taken down quite quickly. And, um, Dad's just put up another three Photon Cannons, so... And, oh no, these two Ravagers are going to get lured out in the open. That one taking a couple of hits. The Stalker does actually get rid of one as well. So, um... Makakao is not having a lot of a lot of luck with this, um, and he's struggling a bit to actually, you know, escape escape Dad's blockade. And Dad has also got warp gate now, so he's warping in some stalkers. Um, Dad is also about to get a third base. Has just put his third nexus down. Um, so we will see them at about roughly the same sort of point in the um in the economic side of things very soon um these stalkers are trying to bait these ravagers out into the open and the queen the queen will fall for it and actually get taken out by the cannons and the ravagers are trying to use these corrosive bar but if dad has always got his vision on these stalkers he's gonna have a very easy job he's gonna have a very easy time of dodging that corrosive bile just because it is such a slow moving thing um, those little pinchy death crab things came out of the evolution chamber there and, you know, you know, got rid of some shields, but didn't do a lot there. Second gateway will go down as well. And a robotics, <laughs> robotics facility. Dad is expanding, putting a lot of minerals into this one area right now. Um, which could either work really well or could go horribly wrong. Um... And Makikeo has said, I've got enough, I've had enough of this. I'm going to go and build some underground tunnels for my little zergling minions to escape. I'm saying, I've had enough of this. I'm going to go in my Nidus network and get out of here. And there we go. We do see the overseer setting, overseer, overseer, um, setting that up. And we might even actually like just see one like just there. And the Stalkers do, do go for a bit of a push. The Ravagers do do kind of hold them back a little bit, but it's looking like that second Evo Chamber will actually be taken out. Yep, second Evo Chamber does go out. What's the name of these things? Broodling. Now I know what the name of them is. Um, Broodlings do come out of that Evo Chamber as well, trying to deal some damage, but not, they're not very efficient. Um, a few of these Stalkers have taken a little bit of damage, but... Apart from that, Dad's actually doing very well in containing containing the Zerg right now. Um, and has got this third base, which is really close to this one. Could even expand to this a bit later. And kind of just set this up as like a you know, massive kind of proxy base. Another one of the cannons does go down, but with this with the Stalkers as well... Um, Dad's doing a pretty good job of just, as I said, keeping Makakeo contained. And, um, re like, being a Zerg, you really kind of need to actually be able to expand so that you can keep your, um, you know, econ economy side of things, um, um, you know, rolling over. But Makakao does go for a Nidus there and will will um be able to, you know, finish finish on um, producing. And that is quite a few roaches. Like about nine roaches, ten roaches. Um 
now almost nine roaches will come in. But dad, dad has void rays. I didn't even notice that he was making void rays. Wow, okay. Um, but these roaches, those roaches are going to get quite a few kills. Um, and dad isn't focusing over here. So this would be a really good time for Makakeo to actually push with the, rav with the ravages and take out some of these pylons. But I'm um, more focusing on trying to um, maneuver all of those uh, um, roaches, which are now all dead. And um, then <laughs> when they all died, did try to go for, you know, eliminating some of this stuff. But Dad, by that time, had already come back to focus on this. And um, there we go, does actually take that base. So this is going to become like one massive kind of Protoss settlement right here. Um, Dad is set up camp. He's like, oh, yeah, well, you know, this land is, it looked pretty free. There wasn't any, you know, of your purple creep goop stuff next to it. So, uh, well, you know, I just thought I could maybe move in for a little bit here. Might pay some rent, you know, 50, 50 minerals per, you know, month. <laughs> Makika has gone, no, that's not enough. I don't want you here anyway. Your little robotic legs, they're piercing my creep. It's hurting my overmind. And, um, Stalker's trying to push forwards here, but I don't think it's actually going to be such a great idea. And, um, Makako is actually holding them back quite well. The Immortals, though, the Immortals are staying strong and, um, are actually, um, you know, kind of, kind of, you know, making this Stalker line hold a little bit. Um, punching some holes in those ravages. One of the stalkers does almost get taken out there on six health. Um, Makakao is doing a good job with the cross, uh, with the corrosive biles. Um, Dad will push forwards here though. He's gonna be able to take out quite a few of the ravages. They do have to retreat to the higher ground. Wow, that is a lot of ravages that have just gone down, and the zealots, the zealots have come in as backup. Dad might have actually done it here. Does take out all the Ravagers. Has gone for a push with the Void Rose on this other base. I think it is over. I think it might be over, but that... That is a lot of Zerglings. But they're just... They're just running past. They're just going for a stroll. And they've run into the Void Rose. No! Makako! That... Oh! That turned... That went upside down really, really fast. And I think the Zerglings might be able to come home and deal a little bit of damage, but... They're targeting that pylon, and they're all going to get wiped out by the, um, by the immortals and the cannons, and not a lot of zerglings can actually attack that pylon, but, oh, okay, does actually, does actually take it out, but dad, that immortal is, yeah, just not, the immortal is just, um, demolishing those zerglings, and two, um, zealots come in to finish the job, and it's looking like... Dad might actually have it here. We have got some hydralisks and a few roaches, which might be enough to hold hold off um these two stalkers and the immortal for now. But it's looking like Dad definitely definitely does have the upper hand. Makako has gone back to one base. There's only three three workers on minerals and six workers on gas. Um, so doesn't have a lot of mineral income. Meanwhile, Dad has quite a lot of mineral income and also has a lot of minerals stored, minerals and gas stored up as well. And more void rays, more void rays are going to come in the back. <laughs> um, one void ray will get taken out. The Hydra's doing their job and the spore crawlers. But it's looking like in the long run, um, Makakao's going to have this. Will walk in with two lurkers though, and there isn't a lot in the mineral line, so I'm not sure if he's going to be able to deal much economic damage here. There's only like, you know, f there was only four or five probes on there, so I don't reckon that's going to deal a lot. But he might be able to wipe out that nexus. But here we go. The other three void rays have come in, and I reckon I'm just going to speed this up. <laughs> um, I reckon that this might actually be game over, people. Night of the Nidus does go down, gets taken out by the Stalkers, and another Nidus here, but will get taken out, yep, and GG. Um, Dad really just kind of, you know, Makako messed up on a few little things, and Dad just saw that opportunity and was like, yeah, I didn't really like you as the landlord, uh, I'm not paying any more rent. Makako was like, what? 
And Dad's like, yep, bye-bye. And um, that, that was the end of the story. <clears throat> Here we go, Daddy's going through and wiping out every last thing that he can um, because he is, you know, the Protoss destroyer of worlds. Um, <laughs> but uh, that is actually all for today's Dad file. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Uh, that was actually quite a fun one. And uh, yeah, sorry my green screen's been a little bit, you know, you can see it there is a little bit sort of um, flickery. And also the desktop audio has been, you know, really quiet. I've got a lot of technical issues at the moment, but I'm still trying to hit my goal of five videos a week for you guys. So hopefully you'll understand. And um, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm <laughs> kind of have to... Figures, I'm um, figuring out a lot of stuff at the moment because there's just so much technical difficulties. But uh, yeah, thank you everybody for watching today's dad file. Just like even just watching this really, really helps out. So thank you for that so much. And uh, yeah, have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.